Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Keanu, back with another video for you guys. And today's video, I look, I just look like a wreck. Right? Whoa, Kim K. All right, today's video, I'm kind of going to be doing a rant, but it's not gonna be like a fast pace, like a boom, boom, hit him with a bang, bang rant. It's just gonna be like me discussing something um, called YouTube. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Today's video, we're going to be talking about what every other YouTuber has been talking about big or small youtubers the like youtube 2017 2016 ish ad apocalypse youtube demonetization fiasco um so i just want to kind of give my opinion on this whole situation here those of you who don't know i've been on this site since about i've had a channel on this site since january of 2012 but prior to that i've been a viewer since probably early 2011. so i've been on the site for quite some time now um, even though I'm like pretty young compared to like most people on here. It's like remember back to like the old YouTube days when like the channels like I used to like get like, so excited like every month I would like change the color of my like channel page. I used to like try and change my channel icon and the color background and stuff and yeah it used to be really cool. One of the main reasons that I joined YouTube like as a creator was to create videos um, enabling me to like express myself and express my interest in something, express something that I was interested in at that given time. Like in the beginning, it was fingerboards, and like then it was like unboxings and like toy reviews, and now it's like vlogs and different stuff. I've been through a lot of different like things. This channel has grown as I've grown, like been grown. Like I started this channel, and I'm in second when I was in second grade. I'm now in eighth. It's like crazy to think of. Most people join the site to have the ability to create what they want to. And now with like all this like ad thing going on, they're limiting your ability to do that. A tiny bit of background knowledge if you guys do not understand what's going on with the ad apocalypse. So basically, a lot of advertisers who like give their brand to YouTube to like put on different creators' videos to enable those creators to keep creating, you know. But recently, um, I forget. I don't. I forget what like exactly the time, but the ad apocalypse, whatever, started really bad because. The advertisers were finding that their ads were being placed on videos promoting terrible things. Mostly, like, the terrorist ones, like, those are, like, the big ones that the advertisers were, like, no, no. So a lot of advertisers pulled out of, like, YouTube's, like, campaign or whatever. They just didn't want to be a part of the website that was promoting bad things. So in response to that, YouTube created a robot system to, to scan over videos being monetized for anything that advertisers do not deem as like advertiser friendly and in part those videos would be demonetized so people making those kinds of videos do not receive any money. Now I believe this is good for things such as terrorism but not for everyday creators who are not harming like anyone, doing what they want to do, expressing themselves, entertaining their viewers. Now, I understand many creators make controversial content, but they do it for their fan base and if you don't agree with that or opinions or content, you don't have to watch it. That was like the big part of YouTube, like that's why everyone came here and that's why still to this day it really has no competitor. After this apocalypse. The creators, like, especially, I'm talking, like, with creators, I'm using, like, big creators, like, with over, like, a million subs, you know? They are feeling demotivated because they're not doing anything wrong. They've just been creating the same videos that they have been, that their fans had been enjoying, and they're getting substantially less amount of money that they were doing it, so then, in turn, they cannot be financially supported to do what they were doing anymore, so then they lose motivation, their videos become subpar to what they were originally con creating. In turn that, the viewers, the most important people in this whole YouTube business are now getting demotivated. It leaves a toll on everyone here. Um, and there's been so many people reaching out, like so many like influential people, like I'm talking like Casey Neistat, who has a connection, a relationship with YouTube, like and many other big YouTubers such as him, who have reached out to YouTube and all their f huge fan bases have as well, but they're not doing anything about it. So. so yeah, going back to like the creators and like how it gives an effect on them, I just had to go back into my notes. These big influential creators 
a big part of their fan base is like younger kids like my age, a little bit a few years older and a few years younger. They're watching these big people that they look up to and they said, hey, I want to be like them. So they create a channel and they expect to grow very fast and to instantly become famous and have a million subscribers and a million views, which doesn't even happen if you really do have a million subscribers anyways now. They're just not seeing that, so then they become demotivated, and then it's just, it's just a whole chain reaction. Um, and if you guys didn't know, right now is the worst time to create a YouTube channel and to be creating on this platform. There have been many other businesses, corporations, trying to create a platform that can compete with YouTube, because right now there is nothing that can compete. A big part of that is because Google, one of the most influential like companies like on the internet to this day is, you know, is overseeing YouTube. So it's like that has another big part why a bunch of people are here. In my opinion, I think it's going to take another big corporation uh, with a lot of influence to create another site. It's not going to be some little guy in his bedroom trying to create a site. Can I give it up an example really quick? Sugar Nuggets made um, more money on his new app that he created. It's called Story Fire or whatever. He made more money with 3,000 views on that thing than he made with 200,000 views on YouTube. The only problem with that thing is, well there's a lot of problems with Story Fire, but it's not suitable for a lot of types of content that people do. It's good for storytellers, hence the name. Channels such as Do Perfect, like they wouldn't want to go to that. One, because they're doing perfectly fine on this site. And two, because they don't really tell stories. They just show off some things, you know, show off some trick shots. Just a small example in this huge like internet thing where there's a million other uh, websites created to try and compete. To YouTube give you guys an understanding on how big and powerful YouTube is I'm just going to use this letter K and as an example and this little letter K the only reason I'm using the letter K is because I just have this big K here. this is big K okay this is YouTube this is YouTube as a whole as a platform and every viewer person who takes a I'm gonna say daily part in making this website like stay up and running and give it all its fame. This is YouTube right here. This is Little K. This, this is all the little websites who are struggling to get recognition such as Storyfire, other video platforms. They're way down here. YouTube's here and they're trying to get here but YouTube is just so powerful and they just look down on them and you know, they try and scare them away, basically. In my opinion, in the next upcoming months to even um, a year, a year and a half, I think it's going to sh gradually start going like this if, only if, YouTube doesn't do something about this stupid <sighs> adpocalypse demonetization. It's gonna flip if YouTube doesn't do something about this large problem. They just you know, they've had a lot of time and they have a lot of resources that they can use and I just don't think they're using their resources wise enough. That is my little spiel on this whole thing and I think it all started back when they changed the ability to change your stupid profile color back in like 2012, you know? Sad times. I stayed doing this shit since second grade and I be doing this shit in eighth grade, so yeah, I just do it for fun, but for many other people it is is a very serious topic as they are needing to seek out second sources of in income because YouTube is no longer sustaining their financial situations. With that being said though guys, thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.